combined for 47% of Bryant's goals from a season ago. So to help, Kevin Groninger and Aiden Goltz have slid up from midfield to help Bryant's scoring punch as we're underway in the win on the draw. It's going to be a violation going for And the like. Rourke was a 200 point scorer for the Bulldogs. A great college career. In the very early going, Johnny Hackett certainly looks promising. Possession still kind of up in the air. Ryan Bell takes it for the Friars. He goes a little further upstream for McAlevey. The shot, it's wide. Hackett's now responsible for three of Bryant's four goals. As Liberty stayed in on the face-off X that time. But a clean win for Fegley. Haven't seen many clean wins on the X. There's McAlevey. Work number 46 in the black and white. Bryant was 5 for 5 on clearing attempts. Providence 3 of 4. No penalties. No man up goals. As we are back for the second quarter. Jake Levin here with you on the call on America East TV. Brian Jacob Alexander is back on after he was spelled by Nathan LaLiberty late in the first quarter. And the former Franklin Panther is locked up in another good one with Fegley. They're going to get a Looks like a grab on Bryant. That'll be another win for Providence. Cannon, a senior from Wilmington, Delaware. That's his first goal of the season. Twenty twenty two, Bryant was sixteen of fifty two on the man up situations. About 31%. That's a win on the draw and a timeout last season. That's, again, with 34 assists. Much more in a facilitator's role a season ago, but a clean win off the draw for Jacob Alexander. Here goes Jacob Alexander. Fires and a save made by Corsiniti. Competitive lacrosse between some in-state rivals. Leg one of the Ocean State Cup. Alexander starting to get a little more comfortable on the face-off X as well for Bryant. That's his second clean win in a row. It's going to be a win for Bryant at the faceoff X again. It's Connor Whalen comes over to help Alexander. The Bulldogs score again. Quickly upfield, it's Jack Lonsinger. 
He scores. Bryant has each touch for both teams. Brad Ross ahead in his Bryant debut here by two goals as the Bulldogs score the final three of the second quarter. And it looked as though the Bulldogs were about to have a good look at a, another one to start the third. But Jacob Alexander is called for. He's on the board this afternoon as well. Jacob Alexander comes up with a win on the draw for the Bulldogs. No question about it this time. Debut. And Bryant back up to 8-6. To Nathan LaLiberty back on at faceoff X. And he wins it clean. LaLiberty now 2 for 4. Alexander 9 for 12. Pardon me, 9 for 13. All for Braun. Only played four games a season ago for the Bulldogs. Coming at a good time. Bryant with nine, Providence with six, and a stalemate at X. Tom Fegley got off to a decent start for the Friars, but the wing play picked up for the Bulldogs, and now they're just winning them clean. Here comes the Liberty. Quick flip back, and that'll be wide. Shot taken by Lanoue. Another win on the draw for the Bulldogs. It's La Liberty who's taken three in a row. Bryant getting very comfortable now at the face-off X, and as a result, more comfortable in the offensive end with the extra possessions. Providence within three, 6.20 to go. Third quarter, La Liberty remains on at the face-off X for the Dogs, and La Liberty remains dominant. La Liberty flips back for Jones. Looked like he won in control up four over their in-state rivals leg one of the ocean state cup the liberty remains on at the face-off x they need some help from his wings this time and ultimately the goalkeeper tegan alexander ultimately drew lucas also helped but it's another win on the draw no matter how you slice it up That's going to be a violation on the Liberty. So his match for the season in just week two. Friars will take any contributions they can get from him at this point. They need some offense. Close the gap here. Much is expected of this season. Groninger and Aiden Goltz trying to fill those big cleats of Mark O'Rourke and Bennett Abladian. Another win for the Liberty. This time, Corsinetti with a stop. Assisted of the nine. Jacob Alexander back at the faceoff X, and the results remain the same. Five points from, I'd say, out of nowhere, but the last two goals have certainly put him on the map. Five points to lead the team this afternoon. So we head into the waning seconds of the third quarter, and now you think if the Bulldogs can win the draw, here comes Jacob Alexander. You know he can shoot if he needs to, but it was pride loose by Bork. Did ultimately get into with a 14-9 lead over visiting Providence, which made a relatively short eight-mile trip up Route 7. That's going to be a win on the draw. You see the pole in there for the Friars. It's Ian Olenek. Is Bell for the team lead this afternoon. What adjustments will the Friars make at the faceoff X? It's Jacob Alexander still on for Bryant. Looks like Fegley has returned. No, I stand corrected. That was still Olenek. And the win is for the Bulldogs. Connor Whalen been pivotal on the faceoff X in terms of wing. That is the first back-to-back -back goal sequence for the Friars since they scored three in a row to go up 5-4. The Liberty was back in on the draw. And Bryant will win it with, again, some help from the poles and the wings. Tanner Alexander, the defenseman. La Liberty is back on for the draw. It's been in every other situation for most of the fourth quarter. La Liberty takes a tumble. 
It's going to be Olenek. Helps the Friars emerge. Try and get back within three. Own is a defensive midi, but he gets involved on the offensive end at a great time if you're a Friars fan. The deficit a little more manageable. And a win on the faceoff X for the Friars as well as up comes Horrigan. And he's going to have to pull off. But he switches back for Bell and he scores! Bell, five goals, four assists. What an afternoon for him. Bryant maintains a two-goal lead as La Liberty is going to whip it up high, and it's collected by Drew Lucas. That was pretty close to a must-win on the draw. If you're the Bulldogs, cleared over midfield. Here comes McMahon, potentially tying this game. Here we go, Alexander against Olenek. It's going to be Alexander and relatively drama-free. Alexander crosses over midfield into the final seven seconds. He gets knocked into the Bryant bench, but it really won't matter. Gets the ball a little further upfield to Jack Lodsinger, and he's able to run it out. The Bulldogs win their own.